Ramanujan is an inspirational figure. After all, you know, he's the topic of a popular Hollywood film now, The Man Who Knew Infinity. But he's much more than an inspirational figure to me. He's been, he's been an, a guardian angel to me. And as impossible as that might sound to believe, I have to tell you, he was, the news of Ramanujan was very important to me as a 16-year-old. You know, as a 16-year-old high schooler, I was trained that, I was trained to believe that to be successful, you had to be a perfect straight-A student. You had to get, you know, perfect test scores. Of course, they're important. But Mrs. Ramanujan um, wrote a letter to my father in 1984 when I was in 10th grade, over 60 years after Ramanujan died. And that's when I first learned about this great genius who was not well known for grades. If anything, he was well known for being a two-time college dropout, but a real artist, a genius, someone whose mathematical ideas were pure flights of fancy. I learned about him again in college when the Nova special about him came out. And Professor Paul Sally, one of my most important mentors in my life, came along and, and we talked about Ramanujan and importance of his ideas. And then, of course, in graduate school, when the book, The Man Who Knew Infinity, came out, I, together with my advisor, Basil Gordon, we read it and we got a lot of strength out of it, at least certainly I did. And certainly at those three points in my life, as a high school student, and a college student, later as a graduate student, I needed to be reminded and reassured that the time was going to come that I would be evaluated professionally for my achievement, not test scores and not grades. And in that way, I think he's been my guardian angel and, you know, and, and, and in my work I've been following him professionally and it's worked out very well for me.